You're watching the American Athletic Conference on ESPN. As tonight, the ECU Pirates take on the SMU Mustangs, who have won eight straight in this series. Does that streak continue tonight? We'll find out. Over to Ben Amelgu. And the scoring is started by the Mustangs tonight. Amelgu, first five shots from three point range, really. We're feeling it early, and speaking of which, it's Elijah Landrum who puts up a three for SMU, and they lead it 7 nothing. Again, certainly the injuries have played a huge uh, piece in their season. Williams has been outstanding as of late for ECU. Nice relocation by McMurray, and he drains a three-pointer. Amelagu into the corner, McMurray again, another great luck for three. And Coach Perry has to do it again, another timeout. Drastically different than on Sunday versus UConn. And here's a three from Gal, and he hits it. Williams, the Fleming, good luck for three this time, and he hits it. He needed that. I said at the tip, he is uh, more than capable of going for big numbers as ECU starting to heat up uh, from beyond the arc. But here's Landrum puts up a three for SMU. Fleming a long three. That's good. And he responds. 23% uh, from beyond the arc. Here's another one for him to go. And he's just on fire right now from beyond the arc. And I'll go to Douglas. He got three, and he hits a three, and now everyone's in the scoring column for SMU tonight. Tyson, three for three, got it. That's the combination there, Williams and Tyson. There. Better job, though, attacking this zone by the start this second half. Fleming, how about that? You're right. Well, the ball is taken away from Barkley. Landrum cleans up the McMurray miss. Good extra pass, it's McMurray for a wide open three. And on the other side, it's been McMurray. You talked about him from the start tonight, Malcolm and Jamal. Tyson finds Fleming for three. Long three, Tyson. Got it. That's two in a row by the Pirates. Tyson right to the hole. Mustangs needed it. They lost five in a row and pick up a win here tonight at ECU. 77 to 58, the final, knocking off the Pirates for the second time this season.